Alright guys, it's time for Saigard. I've read on his typing, so he's... Uh, I, I checked his typings and he's a dragon and ground type. So I should not use my Sylveon against him. Uh, let's just switch him to an Incineroar. And the only one that can put some stats effect on Saigard. Oh, that's not Saigard, that's something else. A Dread... Dreadigon. Dread... Egon. Uh, let's just run away from this fight. So the only one that I have that can put some stats effects is Raichu, but... Uh, our... Uh, this Saigard is... or... He's a ground type, so he's immune to electrical attacks. So I cannot put any stats effect on him. Uh, the goal is to try and send, uh, or try and catch him with a quick ball. If not, we're taking him down to 1 HP with Golisopod, and then just, well, try and wear him down and catch him. No, not a quick ball. And is paralyzed. A good one. And is cured from paralyze. Okay, so I don't think that I will hit him any anymore with that one. Let's switch out to Glisspod and use his false swipe to take him down to one HP. And then let's try some some else. There he is. So I think let's just try one one ball. A dust ball. But I really need to switch out from Glissopod. One. I need to switch out from Glispa so he doesn't use his uh, uh, his uh, escape ability, emergency exit ability. Three. Hey, hey! We got Saigard. Cool. In a dust ball. Awesome. That's how you do it. Don't use the master ball. <laughs> you could, but what's the fun with it? All right. I did not expect that to turn out this easy. Uh, this is Saigar's form when about half of its piece has been assembled. It plays the role of monitoring the ecosystem. Ah, this is only Saigard 50%, yeah. We'd like to give Saigard a nickname. No thanks. And send him to the box. Where do I get the other 50% then? Uh, let's just use an escape rope. So, escape rope teleports you out from the cave. Um, maybe... Well, what am I doing now? I caught my first legendary. I could hunt the Tapus. Or catch Solgaleo. Where do I catch Solgaleo? Stop at the altar. No. 
Let's leap is the work hole. I need to check where I am. Uh, it will likely take some time, but eventually we may also be Avash in light again, like you all. My thanks to the people of Alola, my thanks to the light of the sea crystals. If you wish to return to the world of Alola, you may ride upon our Lunala. Though I suppose you could also ride upon our Solgule, which one would like to which one would like to take? Lunala or Solguleo? Uh, so I'm not ready yet. I don't know if we have anything more to take from here to be honest. Let's just explore this a bit and while we are exploring let me just take no, it, it wasn't our first legend that we caught in a crossman in a, in a quick ball. Um, let's just check where to catch Solbileo. Nothing. Alright, so Solbileo Ultrasun. So then uh, become catchable in their respective versions after traveling to Ultra Megalopolis and defeating Cross Mat in the game. And they are not found at Altar of Sun or Moon, like in the original Sun and Moon. Uh, travel to Iki Town on Mele Mele Island and make your way up towards the ruins of the conflict. Alright. So that one was a new one for me. We need to go to Iki Town. Uh, so that's where our, we are meeting, and well, like battling. Lunala, or, or we are battling Solgaleo, but uh, if you play Ultra Moon, you are battling against Lunala. Uh, let's take Solgaleo. Come speak with me if you wish to change Pokemon, you will ride. Alright, so let's not fly with Machamp, let's fly with Charizard to Mele Mele Island and Ruins of Conflict Can we fly up there? Nope, we need to walk So that's Iki Town and up to Release of Conflict. That's where we could possibly meet Tapu. Hey. I was just talking to the CGI here about all our memories from our island challenge. We really were lucky to meet so many different Pokemon and people, huh? But there's even more out there for us to meet. Whoever, whoever we might go next, wherever we might go next, that's why my island challenge isn't really over. Cool, man. Before I get up and out, I will just check my Pokemon. So I just need to like heal my Goose Pod. Uh, 
medicine. And we have... We have a paralyzed heal, so why not? Uh, we have max... I have high potions. Iron. Oh, it was the last high potion. That should do it. Uh, so let's just switch out to 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 to, to Raichu and save the game if we want to. If we do anything wrong with Solideo and we need to make him, yeah, we'll reset him. And alright, so he's here at the bridge. That was unexpected. I, I thought he was in the in the ruins. Uh, and what are they saying here? Lurxy! I I've been wanting to thank you for saving Navy that day. Laleo. There's something odd going on with the picture. Nebi, you came here from very far away, didn't you? I'm glad that I could take you, you with me. That we got to experience that journey together. Lurxy, I know this may be sudden, but I hope you will consider what I ask of you. I want you... I want to entrust Nebi to you. I think Nebi should be with Necrozma. From what I've heard, Necrozma would not suffer as much or ache so far the light if it can remain close to Nebi. And I think it uh, would be the best if they both stayed together with you, Lurxy. I thought a lot about it and that's what I've decided. So please, I want you to face Nebi as only a trainer can. I want you to give it a ball to call home. To call home. Alright, so... It's time to meet... Solgaleo. La Leona. Ha, ha. We should try and use a quick ball. So let's try a quick ball. It may or may not work. <laughs> oh. So Galeo in a quick ball. Cool. Uh, so Galeo's data will be added to the Pokédex. Sometimes the result of its opening an ultra wormhole is that energy and life forms from other worlds are called here to this world. No nickname and let's send Solgaleo to yes to the box. Solgaleo. No. Nebi. Nebi, you belong with Lurks now. He will be the one to raise you. Just like any parent should raise their child, he will be your father now. Nebi, you have brought your light to everyone, and I know that you will be able to keep everyone smiling and happy, Lurxy. Thank you for taking care of Nebi for me. Nebi, I'm going to become stronger. I swear I will. Now I will have I will be your turn to watch over me as I grow, okay? Please watch me. And this Lurxy, maybe was holding it. Please use it with care. A Solga Solganium Z. Cool. Now let's go, Lurxy. So I'm heading somewhere. I just want to go up to the ruins of conflict while we're here and see if Tapu Coco. No. Is it Tapu Coco? Is there even a Tapu Coco? 
let's just try and see what happens. Um, because that's the last things that I want to do with this game. It's challenging the tapos. Saving the game. Rubbing the stone. Hey, and Tap Coco comes. All right, so we save the game. Let let's try Quick Bomb. Why not? This is avoiding my attacks. Um, let's try a psychic. Too hard, so let's just reboot the game. And we're back. Let's run up and rub the stone again. Type of Coco! Co. Uh, so we get another shot at the quick ball. this with Golisapod. Damn yeah, it, I don't really like that. Oh, he's going to run now. So we can't use False Swipe either. Let's uh, reboot the game again. We're back again. So I can't take him down to 1 HP either. Crap, I really need some new Pokemon to catch these legendaries. Um, let's try another quick ball and... Then fight him down to as slow as we can. Fight him down to low HP without using Pulse Swipe, and he break broke through that quick ball too. Uh, let's try Psych this time. Works well. I 
I want to take him down to red HP, but I don't really have anything that, like, may just touch him. Um, what do we have here? A seven. So. Incineroar is the lowest level Pokemon we have. I don't think that I'm ready to use to catch these legendaries. Uh, let's try Cost Chop. That, uh, that was pretty pretty good. All right, so I don't think that I will get him any lower than that And now it's just a fight for catching Does this count as a okay. Heal ball, heavy ball. Let's try luxury ball. a Pokeball then. The last one. No. Nope, not this either. So it would be easier to have a Pokemon with some status effect move. Again. So th this is really how I'm going to play this last couple of hours or minutes. I, I don't really know how, how much time we have left. But it's it's for Tapos and I don't want to use the Master Ball to them or on them. to 10 Ultra Balls. The Master Ball is for Mewtwo. I'm, I'm saving it for Mewtwo. And hopefully I may get a Shiny Mewtwo. But uh, it, it's a Mewtwo's Ball. No more.
just don't stick. <clears throat> Let's try a timer ball. Finally! <clears throat> Ding! To level 8 is Sylvia. Cool. Angle is part of level 82. Although it's called a guardian deity, if a person or Pokemon puts it in a bad mood, it will become a me malevolent deity and attack. Alright. Uh, let's head down to Iki Town and. Oh! A Tapunium, Tapunium Z! Cool. Let's head down to Iki Town and just see what people will say. And in the next next uh, playthrough, I'll go to next island and meet the next Tapu. So we have only three Pokemon left in this in this game to catch. Why hello champion, Alola to you. I've got an idea. Since, since you've taken the trouble to come visit old Hala, could I ask you to help an old trainer brush up his moves? Uh, and the, not right now. In that case, well, stay as long as you wish. Let's attack, or uh, let's bet with Hala in the next, next episode. Uh, I thought that he had something else to say. But that's it, we caught ourselves Saigard, Solgaleo and Tabu Coco in this episode. Cool, let's try and do it with the other three Tapus in the next one. And then, well, call it a day. That's it for Ultra Sun. Maybe. Maybe. Because I really, really want to start and play uh, Pokemon Platinum. Alright guys, let's call it a day now and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.